All right, today I'm gonna give you guys a detailed look at this uh, vehicle that I'm very, very excited about. And this is uh, by a company called Jazz Inc. Dioramas. And uh, this is a 1.6 scale limited edition uh, 1989 Batwing. So yeah, there's the box. And then actually on the side there, there's another box uh, that uh, has parts uh, that's related to this uh, Batwing here. And um, here is a 1.6, uh, 1992 Batman and uh, you could just see how big this box is compared to the uh, to the figure there so yeah you get an idea how big this thing is all right before I open this up I just want to show you guys the back of the box as well so here's some uh, information about this uh, vehicle Let's see, I think we should focus more on this. Uh, the uh, Let's see, the measurement of this vehicle is 42.92 um, inches by 52. I guess the wingspan is about 50, 52 inches and then the height is about 14.5 inches. So yeah, this thing is uh, massive. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. All right, sorry about that. Uh, before I get into it again, I uh, just want to show you guys uh, the side of the box here. There, here's uh, some of the things that uh, they've already made. Um, here's the 66 Batmobile. I think this one sold out already. And then I think the Batwing is just uh, just sold out. And then here is the Batman uh, Batmobile. And I think that one is uh, in the pre-order stage. And then uh, there's also the the bat signal and then down here we have the Donald Justice uh, Batmobile which is uh, still available alright and here is what Batwing looks like when it's all uh, put together um, I didn't screw any of the uh, stuff in or anything like that uh, the wing I didn't attach them properly or anything like that uh, just yet because uh, I don't have room for this uh, piece uh, on display yet so um, yeah so this is just for the review and at the moment and uh, here's what it looks like this thing is massive and uh, let me lower it down so you guys can kind of see everything and uh, yeah, a little later on I'll turn on the lights uh, to show you guys uh, the light up features uh, on this vehicle it is uh, very impressive and uh, very massive like I mentioned um, yeah the paint job on it is uh, is nice um, you can see their uh, panel lines and all that stuff uh, and uh, it's uh, hand painted everything's hand painted and uh, made to order um, I think uh, the, the pre-order is done uh, sold out completely and uh, if you if you uh, if you're getting one yourself then uh, congratulations uh, it's gonna be a massive piece and it's gonna look fantastic in your collection uh, but uh, yeah it is really really massive and uh, uh, hopefully hopefully uh, I don't know if they will but uh, hopefully they'll make a 112 scale uh, I would definitely uh, pay for that one as well because I want my collection uh, in 112 scale as well and um, this will look fantastic if it's a 112 scale as well um, so yeah jazzing uh, great job on this thing and uh, here's a look at the scissor uh, the scissor piece uh, this is the piece that um, the the batwing used to uh, to take out all the um, Joker's balloons uh, it doesn't articulate or anything like that nope it does not open or anything like that uh, yeah but it is nicely uh, nicely weathered so uh, it is held on with the magnets on the bottom so the way to attach it you just need to remove this panel which is also held on with magnets and then once you remove that and then you could put this one on and right there there you go there's a the scissor head from the pat wing This thing is so big. And here on this side only, uh, you could pry this piece open and then you could add the uh, Gatling gun to it. Here's the piece right there. And then you just need to put it into the slot here. And 
and there you go. Uh, it doesn't move or anything, but uh, yeah, it sits there. And uh, this top panel, uh, this uh, section does not open. I think in the film, uh, this little portion opens up as well, just to give it, uh, give the Gatling gun a little more room. But uh, no, it only opens up on the bottom here. And uh, these fins are all attached via magnets. And you can see there are a couple of magnets, really tiny ones, right there. And then just slot it in, and like there. And same with this fin up here. Same thing with magnets, slot it through. And then same with the bottom fins. There are two fins on the bottom. Uh, right here, one right here, and then the other one on the other side. They are also uh, attached via magnets. And uh, these two flaps, they do open up. Here, you can see it opens up. Uh, there are no hydraulics or anything like that. Uh, there are no pistons or anything like that. I would imagine in the film, uh, this is uh, this is uh, they're trying to be as realistic as uh, they can uh, with the prop. So I think uh, with the prop, they didn't have any um, they didn't have any pistons or anything like that here. But uh, I think in real life, if they were to create a bat wing, uh, there would be pistons here. But uh, if it's true to the film, the prop, then uh, no, it didn't have any uh, pistons there. I think the Hot Toys version, uh, the one they have on display, uh, had pistons here. I think they were going for the more uh, realistic look uh, of the bat wing uh, with some of the uh, mechanics and stuff like that. But... Uh, the uh, jazzing is going for realistic uh, in the prop department, so that's why it didn't have any pistons here. But uh, still, it looks nice. You can move up and down. It is um, it is just a friction base, so uh, yeah, it's it's stable enough where you could have it open and it's not gonna uh, fall back down. So that's that's fine with me. And here are the rockets. The rockets are uh, held on with uh, magnets as well. So here's what they look like, each one of them. I'll take out two here just so you guys can see what these rockets look like. And I go back in again, via magnets. So right there, and right there. And then there are markings all over the bat wing, which is nice. Makes it more realistic. And there's some markings here. And here, and then up towards the front as well. And let me open up the cockpit and show you guys what's inside. All right, so here, lifting the uh, canopy up. And uh, oh, mine has a little defect. Uh, you guys might not be able to see it. It's right there. There's a little, uh, yeah, it's not focusing. But uh, there's a little uh, scuff mark in here on the canopy on the inside. Uh, it is due to um, this piece, the targeting system, being pushed out too far when it was packaged. Uh, so it rubbed uh, the corner here when it was traveling. And uh, I contacted uh, Jazz Inc. about it and uh, they're going to send me a replacement piece, which is nice with uh, without uh, any cost on my end. So that's nice. Uh, but here's what the cockpit looks like. And there's the targeting system, which can extend out. If I can, it is uh, held on with friction, so you gotta be a little bit, you gotta pull it a little bit. Yeah, there you go. It could come out a little bit, and then you can push it back in a little bit. I could get it to go back in. The one hand, I cannot. All right, so once you have it back in, uh, you can see this lever can come down, and then you could pull this piece back for him to target a Joker with it in the film. Yeah, it's really cool. You lift this and push it back out. It cannot go all the way back. Uh, this is as far back as it can go. Uh, let's take a look at the interior a little bit more. We have the seat. And here we have some panels and then there's steering, steering uh, uh, joysticks and the lever, lever and uh, there are some uh, buttons all over. Alright, so I flipped the 
uh, the, the bat wing around just to show you guys the inside of it um, so here's a better look at the uh, joystick and the control panel so I'm gonna dim down the, the my camera so you guys can see what exactly it says flight status flight control manual and then there's some dials all over really cool and then you can see all the lights all the individual lights and uh, yeah and even on the side here there are a couple of them here oops turn it back up a little bit so you guys can see and then same thing on this side a couple of lights here yeah if I dim down the light it looks really really good look at that control panel looks fantastic so if I bring the light back up and yeah, you can see the interior. One more now, and uh, yeah, it looks uh, looks absolutely amazing. It's a great piece. All right, since we have it flipped around, so let's take a look at the back of the bat wing. So, like I mentioned before, these fins are attached on uh, via magnets. All three of these. And back here, there's nothing going on. There's a tip right there, yeah. It's kind of hard to gauge the scale uh, with the camera, but uh, yeah, this thing is massive, massive. And then there's the wire that comes out uh, for you to attach it to the wall, so you could uh, give it light. And here's a side view of the bat wing. All right, let me see if I can get Michael Keaton in there. All right, so unfortunately, I don't have the 89 Batman at the moment. Uh, so I'm here to see uh, proportion, uh, scale proportion. Uh, section uh, just want to show you guys uh, what he looks like with the 92 Batman uh, next to it uh, I don't think I want to put him in there because uh, it is a tight fit and uh, I'm gonna have to really really uh, bend his body in order to get him in there and I don't want to do that to my 92 Batman uh, the outfit is just too nice for me to do that and uh, so yeah uh, I will stand him next to it and uh, show you guys a few more uh, 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 angles of it, but uh, yeah, I don't want to put him in there. And here's a look at him standing again next to the bat wing at a different angle. So yeah, this is the wing again. It's massive, and this is a one six scale Batman. This is the ninety two Batman. Not the 89, unfortunately. I don't have it out on display at the moment. Another view. Unfortunately, I can't get the the whole ship, uh, the whole, yeah, the whole ship uh, on camera because uh, I have a limited room as far as uh, where I can film. So yeah. Uh, yeah, it is massive. There's the one six scale. There's the whole thing on camera. Yeah. So yeah, it is massive. I mentioned it so many times already. <laughs> Oh, and then one thing I forgot to mention are these, uh, what are these, uh, machine gun pieces? Uh, so these are also held on with magnets. There are two pegs right here. Oh, one, one, and then when it goes in, uh, it's held on with magnets right there. So one on each side, of course. 
And uh, let's get a closer look at the detailing. So here's the tip of it, uh, the front end. See silver paint job, and uh, yeah, and then uh, here, you see they added some uh, silver paint right there. Brighten up a little bit so you guys can see the paint job a little bit better. So they definitely sprayed around the edges a little bit. Uh, just to um, bring out the, high the highlights of each panel a little bit more. And I think that's how uh, the Batwing looks uh, on film. Some streak marks right here. And then on the wing, on the tip of the wing, there's an LED light in there right here. And uh, this piece can be removed as well, the front panel, front portion of it. Can remove that so you guys can see some of the detailing here. So there are three slots right here, one right here, one up front, and then one on the other side for that piece to go back on. And uh, there are no landing gears on this. Uh, in the film, they didn't have landing gears, so I guess uh, they went true to the prop, so it didn't have landing gears. But uh, uh, what they did was they, they added these three legs on here, and uh, you just need to screw it to the bottom of uh, the Batwing. And, uh, but uh, for some reason, it's not laying flat, though. It's not completely flat on the, on the surface. See, it's at an angle a little bit. It's tilted a little bit, so I'm not sure whether the screw is a little bit off or or what. But uh, I think mounting it might be an, uh, it. It's supposed to uh, you're supposed to be able to mount to the wall as well too. Um, they give you guides as to uh, where to mount it and all that stuff. But you can see, it is not flush uh, to the surface. You can see that it's a little off. And then even this side is a little off. You can see how it's not completely flat on the surface. Yeah, so something is off here. I'm not sure exactly what. I think it might just be uh, the weight that's uh, on these legs right now. Um, yeah, this thing weighs, uh, uh, I think, a good 30 pounds. So uh, maybe it's putting a lot of stress on these, uh, on these, uh, on these uh, screws right here. Uh, on these holes right here. I'm not sure why it's uh, bending it a little bit, but uh, as far as the wings uh, they are um, They are very sturdy and uh, the way they're attached. Uh, they're not gonna they're not gonna warp over time because inside There is a metal piece a metal rod that goes right through the bat wing. So uh, to keep the wings uh, up and parallel uh, So it's not gonna droop over time and here's a straight on shot of the bat wing. A little lower. A little higher. So again, I really, really hope Jazz Inc. Uh, will do a 112 scale of this bat wing because uh, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous piece, and uh, I would love to have one that's 112 scale to go with my other vehicles. Uh, uh, but uh, 16 is definitely amazing, and uh, 112 would be would be absolutely uh, perfect for me for a lot of uh, a lot of uh, a lot of collectors too. I would imagine, um, and uh, the 112 scale would probably be a little bit less uh, as far as the price point, and uh, I think you'll. Uh, It'll, it'll be much more affordable for other collectors as well, uh, in me included. So yeah, hopefully 
we'll see one twelve scale of this. And uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, currently they have uh, the um, one six scale Batmobiles. Uh, there are quite a few Batmobiles up on uh, pre-orders right now. Uh, I think the eighty nine Batmobile is up there. Um, the uh, Val Kilmer Batmobile is up there, and then they still have the uh, Donna Justice slash. Uh, uh, Justice League uh, Batmobile up there, and uh, they also have a 112 scale um, Dawn of Justice slash uh, a Justice League Batmobile, which I will probably pick up because uh, I want to make sure this is good before I go ahead and um, order the, the 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 112 scale Batmobile. So um, I really really wanted that Batmobile because um, the Dawn of Justice Batmobile it, it looks fantastic. It is one of my favorite design. Uh, when I first saw it uh, with uh, Mesco on display, uh, I was like, "What the hell?" Uh, but they they weren't releasing a one twelve scale. So, but uh, for uh, for this company, uh, Jazzing, to re uh, release a one twelve scale Batmobile uh, for the Dawn of Justice slash uh, Justice League, it's a it's a it's a it's a perfect a perfect combination, which I will definitely get now. Because uh, yeah, just looking at this. I know what I'm gonna get. And I know well what to expect, so that's good. And uh, yeah, good job on this one. Now, at the end of the day, is this piece worth getting? Um, hard to say. For me, it is because I don't think we'll ever see a uh, one six scale Batwing from the '89 movie. Uh, by anyone uh, and uh, even if there is one I don't think it's gonna be as accurate as this one uh, turned out and um, again I would really really hope uh, Jazz Inc uh, would put out a 112 scale Batwing I would definitely pick that one up if they do and uh, yeah the 89 Batwing and um, if they do more 112 scale, I would definitely, definitely uh, be interested in them. But uh, as far as 1.6, um, uh, it's just really, really big. Uh, this is the only one I will get. That's 1.6. I already have the 1.6 uh, Batmobile from Hot Toys, and um, that thing will go really, really well with this one. But uh, again, I don't have the room to display all those things. Uh, so at the moment, uh, so we'll see what's gonna happen later on. But uh, as far as uh, as far as one twelve, I would love to get them. Uh, the more they make, the more I will get. Uh, but uh, as far as one six, yeah, this would be it for me from Jazzing. Uh, hopefully they will do more one twelve scale. And uh, yeah, so there you go. There is the one six scale Batwing from the nineteen eighty nine Batmo uh, Bat. Bat Batman film by Jazz Inc. and uh, thanks for watching. And here we have a top view of the Batwing, and as you can see, this is the uh, pretty much the Bat symbol from the 1989 uh, Batman film. Yeah, so there you go. Yeah, nice. Mm -hmm. And here's the very last shot I'm gonna do, and with Batman in front of it, with the '92 Batman by Hot Toys. So there you go, there's my Batwing, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.